Well, good morning, everyone. Hope you're doing well today. Uh, I have the most exciting of opportunities this morning. I get to do my civic duty as a citizen of this country and go and serve on a jury. Well, I don't know if I get to serve on a jury yet. I get to go to a jury pool today. And that's something that all of us always look forward to, right? Getting to go and get a jury summons. Uh, but as I was sitting there thinking about this last night, thinking about, oh boy, I don't want to do this. I don't want to have to go and do all this stuff. I couldn't help but think about the kind of God that we have. We have a God who is filled with justice. Yes, a God of mercy, but a God who values justice and righteousness. Actually, Psalm 33 says it this way in verse 5. He loves righteousness and justice. The earth is full of the steadfast love of the Lord. And that's a good reminder to us. God wants us to act in a just way, in a loving way, in a righteous way. And we fall short of that all the time. We know we do. But Jesus doesn't. He comes and he, he takes our punishment upon himself. The justice of God is poured out on him so that we can have righteousness and forgiveness. And I was just thinking about that this week as I have the opportunity to potentially serve on a, on a jury that would mete out justice. But I want to encourage you to remember that, especially right now. We feel like there's a lot of upheaval and distress in our world. God is a God of justice, and we should seek justice, no matter whether it's something we would rather not seek justice on or something that, that we think needs to be done. As people of God, we stand up for what is right. We follow the example of our Lord. So I'm going to encourage you to do that this week. God bless you.